So we just came out of a retro game shop in um, Paris. This was the second time we went back there. There was so much to choose from, but we only got a few things. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff we got. We even got a couple of birthday gifts because it's Adam's birthday today. So I got a GameCube controller, which is this really cool kind of um, orange color, um, which is just, just awesome. I didn't need it, but this was only 35 euros. So there's, there's something nice about getting controllers out and seeing the you know, big bright colours for Nintendo controllers like you used to on the N64 and it was apparently only released, the owner was telling us it was only released in Japan but apparently there were a few European ones released as well. So, this is the Nintendo Bible and this literally has all of the Nintendo games that were ever released on the NES and that we were given this as well as a present, like a really nice guy. In here we have uh, basically mint copies of Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. Um, I'm not going to bother opening it here, but um, they're both limited edition, they're both in Japanese, but we just saw them when we were like, I don't know, I'm a sucker for anything Shenmue, so when you see it, you're just like, it looks so nice, I've got to have it, and he gave us a really good price. He gave us both, so Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2, both limited editions, one comes with a jukebox of all the Shenmue music, and as you know, we collect kind of Dreamcast games as one of the big ones, and he gave us both of them for 60 euros. I mean, and in a time where Shenmue 3 is about to come out, that for me was, was awesome. We were having a conversation, just uh, literally just about 10 minutes before we found this, um, we were talking about Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion and uh, Adam said, well, you know, there was actually a Land of Illusion as well. And we couldn't figure out if it was a, a, a prequel or a sequel um, to the original games. And actually, this is a sequel. There's actually four games that we found out now. Um, and it only came out on the Game Gear and the Master System. And as we were talking about it, we were rooting through these hundreds of Game Gear games and we stumbled across it. And so, uh, yeah, it had to take it home because I've never played it and it's great and, and Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion were big favourites for us when we were young. And, and the last thing in the bag, and uh, this is an original Japanese magazine, right, of Shenmue, right, and all the news that came out about it when it first came out. Um, and this, this is just incredible. Like, obviously, we can't read any of it, but the pages, like, the pages of it, Oh, this is straight from Japan. Not a huge haul we brought back from it, but we're really happy. And to be honest, it was one of the nicest surprises to come to Paris, not have any expectations, find a retro store. So for anyone out there, check out the information in the link below, check out their website. And if you can, make the trip to Paris just for that store. Because in Paris, retro is still well and truly alive. Um, and big respect and two thumbs up for the retro game store in Paris.